Hello everybody, this is Krish Mohan here. Uh, this is not a, a, a video where I'm going to drive around and tell you guys a, a story about from my life. Um, this is a little bit of an update for the channel. Uh, well, at least for a little, for, for this week. Uh, I'm going to actually, I'm going to go on a, a, a little bit of a hiatus on putting out videos uh, this week. This is not like a permanent hiatus. I'll probably come back either Friday or Sunday. I'm not really sure exactly when I'm going to resume the regular videos, if it's either Friday or Sunday. But it's but it's probably going to be one of those days. I do this because a um, couple reasons. Uh, I have... Um, I have a bunch of writing stuff that I've been I've been wanting to do, and I don't think I've been putting enough um, effort in doing, uh, or rather, dedicating the amount of time that I would like to in in order to get those writing projects done. So, uh, with that in mind, I am going to uh, try to concentrate on that this week. So, I've got a couple of major projects coming up first. Uh, the Pittsburgh Fringe Festival, that's this Saturday, May 2nd. So I'm, I'm working on a couple of stories and working on kind of the Zoom show that I'll be doing uh, with a couple of visual aids and things of that sort. It's three, four stories uh, that I have um, somewhat told on stage in the past, somewhat. Um, so, you know, I kind of wanted to, 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 to make them a little bit more dynamic so that it's just not me. Uh, on a computer screen talking about a bunch of stuff. <laughs> uh, as entertaining as I know that sounds. Um, no, but since this is sort of like a live show, but it's it's on it's a virtual live show, uh, I wanted it to be a little bit more dynamic. Plus, I also wanted to have a little bit of a um, a script for it so that I'm not meandering and I can kind of stick to the show being about about an hour. Uh, so that that's one, and that show is going to take a little while to, to get done, but that's a priority for this week. Um, the other thing is, uh, so that's May 2nd, by the way, uh, and the tickets are pay what you want for that show. Uh, they're pay what you want for that show. The other thing is, uh, that I'm working on is I'm going to be doing a bunch of live stand-up comedy shows via Zoom. So I guess live virtual stand-up comedy shows um, called The Citizen Revolution. It's what the show is going to be called. There are going to be some consistent segments in that where it's more traditional storytelling stand-up stuff. Um, and then there's going to be some varying things. So each show will be a little bit different based on what's going on uh, in the world and what current events uh, aren't really being talked about in the mainstream. So I've got that coming up. Um, I've got a couple of those sched scheduled out. Uh, basically, uh, May 8th is the first one. Tickets are five bucks. And uh, the next one will be May 22nd. And then the one after that will be June 5th. And then June 12th and June 19th, I think. Right now, that's how, it's, that's how I've got it set up. Um, I think. It's up on my website right now. I, I don't have my calendar in front of me. Uh, RamanNoodlesComedy.com. There's the plug for that. R-A-M-A-N NoodlesComedy.com. But, uh, so that's going to involve uh, a, a little bit of... Um, Work. There's, like I said, some interactive dynamic elements uh, to these Zoom shows that I wanted to include so that it added a little bit of flavor. So it's, it's so it, it kind of differentiates it from an actual live stand-up comedy show. But that also means uh, writing material, kinking stuff out, uh, tweaking things here and there, figuring out what segments to use and what I'm going to talk about per segment. Um, you know, what current news stories that I want to kind of tackle and do commentary on and writing those out as well. Um, so that's sort of me being able to do some kind of a show um, as often as I possibly can. 
So in May, I've got two scheduled. Uh, if they go well, I'll continue to do them more frequently through June. Um, so essentially, if you come to see one and then you decide that you want to come and see another one, uh, there will be a there will be some similarities in the show, but there will also be a lot of different segments in the show as well. Uh, so it really just depends on what you what you feel like, um, you know, how, or, or rather how you feel like you want to do it. Um, you know, so that's that involves a lot of work and a lot of writing. The other thing that I feel pretty bad that I have been I have not been able to push as hard on are are forkful of noodles. Uh, which have been on hiatus basically since February. Uh, I went on this big long tour and uh, I was I was started writing some stuff, but I haven't been able to really do it because that involves a, a much larger level of production uh, on my end than these other videos do. Um, these other videos are a little bit easier to um, to do because they don't have like short video clips, um, they are a little bit more, um, they're not as written as Forkful. Forkful is very, very, very written. Um, so because of that, uh, Forkful of Noodles kind of took a break. Yeah, my mustache hair keeps getting in my, I gotta shave. I think that's what that is. Sorry, weird gross moment there. Um, but Forkful of Noodles has kind of taken a little bit of a hiatus. So I've got about two or three pieces that I'm working on. Um, I'd like to finish at least one or two of them. Um, and it's been a challenge. It's been a challenge. Uh, the quarantine has provided quite, quite, a, quite a larger challenge, I think, to all of us than, uh, than prior, previously anticipated. Uh, I've been able to do these daily videos you know, kind of keeping up with the stories going around, keeping up with different topics, keeping up with those strikes and labor movement stuff that I've wanted to cover. Um, and I've been able to keep up with those and I'm enjoying doing those. But I also have other projects that I want to work on that I feel like have gotten backburnered. So I'm going to concentrate on those this week. Take time to catch up. Um, take time to kind of lay the foundation on some of these other projects that have come up over the uh, over the last few days, um, being the Pittsburgh Fringe and the Citizen Revolution uh, virtual stand-up comedy shows. Because I kind of miss performing, to be honest. Uh, and I thought like, okay, I'll be fine. But I, but I did the test show, and I did um, Rob Crean's virtual gas, uh, and I, and I was, it was like, yeah, okay, this is weird, this is different, but I miss doing this, um, and I kind of wanted to put my efforts into that. So what does that mean? That means that this is catch up time. Um, so I'm going to play catch up. I'm going to write a bunch of stuff and I'm going to attempt to produce some forkful of noodles. Um, and that's going to mean that the daily videos that I've been doing for the past four weeks or however long I've been doing them. No, it's say it's been way longer than four weeks, huh? Jesus, did I say four weeks? No, it's been <laughs> seven weeks. I think something like that. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, cause I basically started doing those videos rather immediately, uh, rather, rather immediately once we got into this thing. So yeah, it's been, it's been going for, uh, since, since the start of this quarantine situation. Um, I'm going to keep doing those, but I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to take a hiatus from them this week. Um, because I've uh, I've I've needed to concentrate on these other uh, other projects that that I feel like I have not been um, putting putting my best foot forward on. Um, the other reason too is uh, I've been I, I got I got this crazy migraine yesterday. Well, I think it started on Sunday night, really, and I did I don't think I noticed it very much, uh, or if I did, I kind of shrugged it off for what it, for for whatever reason. But yeah, I've um, 
and I kind of I woke up not feeling great yesterday like I had a I had like these crazy stomach cramps um, going to bed and I was like oh, okay this will probably pass overnight I you know I probably ate over eight to something on Sunday night and then I woke up and it felt like there was a uh, a star collapsing inside my stomach uh, turning into a black hole uh, it didn't feel good it felt pretty awful <laughs> Uh, and I'm also like a caffeine down, so like I have to get coffee or else I will get a migraine for fucking sure. Uh, that's happened a couple times in my life where, and then it's like the once, and then it takes a little while for the caffeine to like kick in. Hence what I'm drinking now. It's a nice cup of coffee. So I had a pretty lousy day yesterday and I was like, okay, I'll try to eat, you know, once I kind of balance out a little bit with some food. I'll be able to sit at the computer and do a little bit of work. I was able to do about two hours of work. That's it. I was able to get some emails out. I was able to get the word out about these, um, about the Citizen Revolution stuff and the Pittsburgh Fringe stuff. And that's about it. And then my eyes started hurting and my head started hurting and my neck started hurting and my back was killing. Like everything just fucking... And, uh, I've got, I mean, I've gotten these migraines before and they're stress related is what I've kind of learned about my migraines that I get. Cause I'm not prone to them. I've never, I mean, like i don't consistently get migraines or anything over the last maybe two or three years. I've gotten a few, like in 2018, I remember being laid out maybe once or twice, um, you know, just throughout the year where it was just painful and I kind of like just needed to lay down um, and stay still. Last year, I got a couple of them, Um, maybe like three or something. Uh, One of them was uh, in November and I was laid out for the whole fucking day, but it was a stress-related migraine. So this year... um, I remember getting one faintly in January, but it passed pretty quick. And then I've gotten at least three or four of them in the time of the quarantine that I can remember where like my eyes will hurt, my neck will hurt. Um, And part of that, as some of you guys might have seen my videos, I'm wearing sunglasses because uh, I'm trying to reduce the amount of direct light from the screen and from the uh, spotlight hitting my eyes. Um, so that's helped significantly in terms of like reducing just like pure headaches that I've, that I've, uh, uh, I've gotten. Um, I probably need to keep doing that for a while. That's just something that, uh, I'm going to have to deal with. So I'm going to take the precautions that I need to take. Uh, somebody said to somebody, somebody, uh, that was at the test show, emailed me and said, man, the sunglasses uh, kind of take away some of the expression that you have on your face. And, uh, you know, that's something that I've gotten a lot of compliments about over the last couple of years in terms of my performances is, is like the expressions and like adding a little bit of theatricality to the show based on my facial expressions and stuff. Um, and that's just some stuff that I would do naturally on stage and stuff. Um, and I get that. Like, I get that wearing sunglasses is going to take away from that, but it's either that or um, me being in so much pain the, the following day that I'm like shutting my shutting down altogether, and I kind of don't want to do that. I I, I want to be able to do my work because I enjoy doing my work, right? Like it's not something that I do because oh it's money. Like I'm no, it's because I find genuine fulfillment and enjoyment out of this, which is why I work so much. Um, but. I understand that it takes a little bit away, uh, but I got to I gotta take care of my things. So that's part of the reason why I keep wearing the sunglasses. Um, and, you know, there's going to be some people that are going to take some jabs at it, and that's fine. Uh, that is to be expected. That is to be expected. Uh, but these migraines, I've gotten a bunch of them over the course of the quarantine. Um over the course of the last seven, eight weeks, three or four, including the one from yesterday. And it affects everything. Like, 
you know, I don't know, I don't know how many people out there are prone to getting migraines or not, but it like, for me, it starts specifically in my, yeah, in my right eye, behind my right eye, and then it'll kind of radiate out and then it'll hit my left eye. Um, and then it like feels like, the, like it's in the back of my head and the front of my eyes. And then it feels like a sinus infection. Um, and then my neck starts to hurt, my back starts to hurt. And then I'm, I'm losing appetite, but I want to eat, but I don't want to eat. Like it becomes this complicated thing. And then I'm exhausted um, and it sucks. And, um, and I'm sure like people that experience migraines know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. Uh, it super fucking sucks, and the only thing that you can do is um, is rest and take precautions. Turn the lights down. Drink a bunch of water. Uh, you know, make sure that you're not staring at a screen for too long. Um, you know, like if you're a smoker, don't smoke that day. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I, I gotta I gotta make sure that my health is kept up and I and I think I'm definitely getting stress migraines because because of all the projects that have come up that I'm excited about by the way. I'm I'm not like, oh boy, oh fucking gotta do these shows. But no, I'm like excited about these shows. So I wanna do the best that I possibly can for these shows. I wanna do the best that I possibly can for Forkful of Noodles and for my interview podcast Taboo Table Talk. Which is another thing that I've kind of ramped up a little bit by uh, talking to small businesses and doing a small business series. So I'm doubling up Taboo Table Talk now. Um, I'm doing one on Wednesday where it's specifically one or two small businesses talking about how the situation has affected them. And then the regular episode on Thursday. Um, You know, so it is a lot. I understand that. Uh, and I, and I have to be a little forgiving to myself and I'm not good at that. I'm not, I'm just not good at taking breaks. Like yesterday I was crawling out of my fucking skin, uh, not being able to sit and like do the work that I wanted to do. Yeah. Like I was losing my goddamn mind a little bit. There, like, there was a portion of the day where I was just like, this is crazy. I feel like I'm going to go nuts. Like, I feel like I'm going to lose my fucking mind. Um, and you got to take those days sometimes, right? Like you got to take a day and, and this is like a, this is like your body basically forcing you to take a day because it's like, no, we're shutting the fuck down. Like we are super shutting the fuck down. Um, but you know, I, I like, I like the work that I do. I'm, I'm, I know that I'm, I'm a little bit of a workaholic and we have this culture, um, in our society that is prone to doing, doing, doing right. More, more, more. We need more, more, more. Um, that's sort of how the economic system also ends up working is the economic system is built on more, more, more. It's this parasitic more, more, more economic system. More, more, it's, it's do more, get less, do more, get less. That's what it is. Um, rather than do what your body can get the amount that you need. Uh, that should be the way that, that it works, right? Like we should have leisure time involved, we should have, uh, like, that should be a part of our culture. That should be a part of our economics, um, is, is, is uh, having a section of our economics dedicated to leisure and dedicated to making sure everybody can get that leisure. And it's not just this luxury for a bunch of fucking rich people. Um, anyway, rant aside, uh, you know, so I enjoy, I, I like doing what I, what I, what I do. So I don't, I normally don't get like burnt out or completely and utterly exhausted that often. I do on occasion, um, you know, super long tour. I've been on the road for six and a half weeks and I get back and it's like, all right, I'm taking the next two days for me. You know, next two days is... Uh, yeah, I'll do some, I'll do some email stuff and I'll do some tweaking of the material if uh, here and there, but I'm going to sit and watch fucking, you know, uh, Star Trek, or I'm going to sit and watch all, all of the, all of the Avengers movies or, or whatever, just to kind of turn my brain off, or I'm going to go and, you know, take a walk, hit the gym, um, do, do, do something like that. And 
take care of my my body and my mind. Uh, you know, so that's been um, that's part of the reason why I I never feel like if I do end up working twelve hours in a day, I'm not like, oh man, I gotta you know I'm totally burned out. But that's because I love what I do, so I don't look at this as like. I don't have a distinction because I love what I do. I don't have a distinction between um, that thing where people get exhausted from work. Like they're like, oh, it's a case of the Mondays. Like I don't, I don't know. I just don't feel that way about the work that I do. Uh, Which means that sometimes I push myself beyond my own limits um, and I need to be better about that. And I and I have I'm I'm trying to be I think I I have been you know when I kind of hit that threshold it's like all right call it a night, it is fucking eleven thirty and you know you've been on go mode, all day, um. You know so I'm kind of getting better at that. But for the week, there will be a hiatus. I'm I like I said I'll try to get back into it on Friday. Uh, but if not Friday, then it'll most likely be Sunday. Um, and then I'll, I'll kind of get, get into doing some stuff on Sunday. Just so I have Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, four or five days to kind of get, get caught up on writing and, um, getting all sort of like the production end of these shows. Because here's the other thing, guys, is I'm the only person that does this stuff for me. <laughs> um, I don't have a staff or anybody. Like, I don't have, like, a video editor. I don't have, like, a stage manager for the Zoom shows or anything. Because um, I can't afford to pay somebody. And I don't think... And and then it's also, like, time to teach them how to do stuff. Like, what am I looking for and all. I can do that if I have the resources to do that. I don't have the resources to pay for somebody right now. Especially now, you know, um... The, the the being being grounded from touring is you know I've I've lost like a good I mean like a good ninety percent of my income, um, doing these Zoom live shows and the donations that I've received from people and the Patreon and stuff super fucking helpful and is like made sure that I'm not completely destitute. Uh, so I appreciate the shit out of everybody that's been donating, everybody that decided to become a sustaining member over at Patreon or directly on my website. Um, I super appreciate all that. Those are the reasons why I've like not lost a hundred percent of my income. Um, but you know, doing these Zoom shows doesn't mean that I'm going to get all of my income back. It does mean that it's going to help significantly. Um, so you know, that's kind of the reason why I'm like I need to lay a foundation for this thing. Because going forward, this seems like something I'm going to be doing pretty consistently. Um, so with that said, what are, what am I going to do about these shows? So I've got the Fringe show this Saturday. That's sort of a one-off. Unless that goes really well, and I might try to do um, a version of that. Um, if that goes well and if there's enough interest for it. Because uh, it'll be a rotation of stories. Like the stories that I do on Saturdays, it'll just be a more tightened version of those. Um, I thought about doing those pretty consistently as well. I don't know. I don't know if that's me adding a lot more to my plate than it's not. But these, the Citizen Revolution virtual stand-up comedy show, that is going to be something that's consistent. So the first one is going to be on May 8th. And then the next one is May 22nd. Following that, it'll be in June. Um, and depending on how quickly the tickets are selling and how, 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 um, How much you guys want it uh, will depend on how frequent I do them. Um, You know, so, I mean, between all the shit, like, uh, between all the videos that I've put out, I have enough, like, things that I can extrapolate and create some interesting varying segments out of. Uh, So, you know, I'm I'm hoping that the show is interesting. I'm hoping that the show is fun and funny and, uh, you know, so that's part of the reason why I'm like, I got to lay this foundation because right now I've lost June. I have the last weekend in June with some dates. Uh, Baltimore, D.C., Williamsport, probably. 
But based on how things are looking, those are not going to last, I don't think. Um, you know, in the next week or two, I'll probably end up talking to those venues and, and seeing what, what they feel like. But, you know, the first half of June is gone. I got nothing. And that sucks. So I, I want to make sure that I'm give you know, out like doing performing comedy because I like performing stand up comedy. But I also know that, that there is something I, I don't want it just to be a comedy show. I've never wanted to just be a comedy show. I always enjoyed the conversations afterwards, the the deep discussions, you know, and 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 uh, connecting with people and not just that, but other people connecting with each other. I love it whenever I find out that, you know, somebody that came to see me ended up meeting some other people that came to see me and now they're friends and they go hang out. That's like one of the coolest fucking things uh, ever, you know, and then I get a message like, oh, yeah, remember that person that, yeah, the one that brought the drink? Yeah, yeah, we're hanging, we're going to be hanging out, we're going to go do this. And it's like, awesome, fuck yeah, we did it, you know, like that sort of, like I want there to be some sort of community building aspect behind it. Um, so yeah, I'm, 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 I'll, I'll probably, you know, that's, that's part of the reason why I want to keep doing these, uh, I want to do these Zoom shows, period. Um, so going forward, what does that mean? I've got a couple of dates in July too. So it'll go through May, it'll go through June. It's probably going to go through July. I'm going to skip 4th of July weekend because that weekend is relegated to doing 4th of July shit. I get it. And it's always been a nightmare weekend to try to book comedy anyway. And, I've, and I haven't booked comedy for like three years on that weekend. Uh, specifically because it's a nightmare weekend to try to book comedy. Um, I have a couple of shows lined up right now in July. But there is a very, very good likelihood that's not going to come through. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking at, I'm looking at a solid four months of lost work and hopefully I'll, I'll be able to concentrate, you know, when, when things look like the, or the whole stay at home, whatever is being lifted, I can go back to booking into August. Um, and you know, we'll, we'll probably have limited seating at these shows. We'll probably only be allowed to have, 20 to 25 people inside of a venue or something along those lines. Um, and that's fine. But, uh, you know, until we get to that point, these Zoom comedy shows are going to be important. So it's part of the reason why I wanted to I wanted to do them uh, the way that it is. But, I, you know, like I said, I got to I got to take a little bit of time to not do these daily videos because there is a lot of work that goes into those daily videos. Uh, I'm reading, a, you know, a lot of articles. It's like three, four hours of research and then taking notes on them and then making sure I understand what the fuck I'm talking about um, and making sure that I can stay on point. Then it takes an hour, hour and a half to record the videos, convert the videos takes another hour and then getting it up online. I mean, it's like essentially six, six, six and a half, seven hours of work getting those videos up online and then being and then being in the chats with you guys as well. Something that I enjoy doing because that's like me hanging out with you guys after a show, getting a beer, you know, bullshitting and, and talking about whatever was on stage and stuff. Um, so, I mean, that's like a full day's worth of work. And then after that, you know, in between, I, you know, I grab lunch, I watch an episode of Star Trek. And then after the hangout, after the premiere, I do the same thing. I, I eat some food and I watch a little Star Trek and then I'm back at it. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to write stuff. Uh, I'm doing other research. I'm doing, you know, design stuff. I'm I'm setting up the production for the shows. There's a lot that goes into it. So, you know, the the burnout that came that came in, the the stress migraines that I've gotten are when whenever those things get a little overwhelming. Um, and because of, so because of that, I, I'm I'm just kind of kind of pull back, not do the daily videos, um, and concentrate my efforts on writing making sure the foundation for these Zoom shows are set and making sure the foundation... And, and then Saturday's show, I, I got to make sure is, is going to be good. Um, and then Forkful of Noodles. I felt really kind of shitty about not, not being able to put out Forkful of Noodles as much as I have. Um, you know, so to try to get those... Trying to get those things off the ground, trying to get those things taken care of. Uh, yeah, I, that's, that's kind of the main focus of the four, four days that I'm, I'm taking off. 
uh, to do because it is it is a lot of work to do those videos <laughs> every day. Uh, anyway, I've I've kind of sat in this car for a half hour. Uh, I did not expect to sit in this car for a half hour. That's fine. I'm a, I'm a rambly motherfucker. I know that. Uh, but with that said, uh, make sure you are subscribed because I will I will put up some videos this week. I'll put up some I'll put up some clips from the test show. I'll put up some stand up comedy clips, um, and then the dispatch will be going up this week as well. So you know, stay tuned. Uh, make sure you're, you're you're subscribed to the channel because those daily videos will be back. Uh, Forkful of Noodles is coming back, so there's a shit ton of stuff that's coming out on this on this channel. Um, clips from those Zoom comedy shows will also be up on this channel. Um, you know, there might be a, some cool little things that might pop up. You'll, you, I think once you see what I'm putting up, you'll you'll understand why uh, I will put up some of those clips. Um, because you're sort of not evergreen stand-up material, uh, and I'm and I'm not hyper concerned about them. But um, not hyper concerned. But how do I? I don't even know how to put it. They're just not evergreen stand-up material that's like gonna wind up on an album later. Uh, oh, that's the other thing I'm working on. Is my fucking is my is 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 politely angry. Uh, that's coming out June first. So I've got a whole month to kind of prep and get the word out about that and. All of that kind of shit. So, um, yeah. I'll probably end up doing a video for that at some point. Talking about Politely Angry. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll probably do those. Those videos will come out <laughs> this week or something. I don't know. Um, just so, I'm, just so I, I, I want to keep in touch with you guys. I want you guys to know what the fuck is going on on my end. Uh, sorry, I keep staring at these birds out here. Uh, they're just kind of flying around having a great time. Um, and you know me, I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of birds. Uh, but anyway, uh, so yeah, so I've got the album, the stand-up shows, the storytelling shows, the daily videos, the fork book, the taboo table talk, a lot of stuff going on, a lot of stuff to manage, a lot of stuff to balance and, uh, kind of got a stress migraine dealing with all that stuff. I've, I've had a bunch of stress migraines dealing with all that stuff. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to like not overly do it with that stress migraine stuff and 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 really focus on t uh, making sure that i'm also taking care of myself uh body mind spirit uh all those things so with that said please subscribe to the channel please make sure you're getting notifications when the videos go up please share the videos that's another thing you can do while 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 the daily videos are on hiatus i got a ton of videos uh, about the labor movement, about different strikes, about different uh, political parties that uh, we can move forward with so we're not stuck with this bullshit corporate duopoly, uh, about, about what's going on with COVID-19, about you know what, 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 what we can learn, how we can help each other, about mutual aids, about all this stuff. Um, if there's a video you see that strikes your fancy, that you're like, yeah, this, isn't, this is something that I think everybody needs to know, make sure you hit that like button and make sure that you share that video out. By the way, I do think that there's somebody going around my channel hitting a dislike to like downrank my videos. Uh, I've been noticing that over the last like week, week and a half, that there is just one consistent like dislike on, on all of my videos, right? And it'll kind of happen in succession. Like yesterday, there were no dislikes on the videos um, from this week. And then all of a sudden now, all of the videos from this week have a dislike. So somebody is like their fucking Tuesday ritual <laughs> is to go into my channel and, di and just hit that dislike button once to see if it downranks. So if you see my video, um, please make sure that you hit the like button. Uh, and, <laughs> and make sure, because those likes and subscribes help. They, that's how other people get to see them. Um, that's how, uh, you know, fucking, that's how new people find the channel. So, you know, you're, you're, you're helping new people find the channel. Uh, I appreciate that. Uh, uh, but, uh, yeah, I think there's somebody, somebody doing like a dislike campaign on my channel, which is so fucking weird. And I don't know if it's one consistent person either because, um, because YouTube won't show you like who liked your videos. There's, there's no way to find out like what user liked your videos or not. And, and maybe there is, I don't know. I, um, and, and I'm, I'm just kind of an idiot and, and I don't know about that. Uh, but if there is, let me know, leave a comment. 
I don't know. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I um, got that going on. So please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Please make sure you are uh, hitting that like button. Uh, please make sure you share this stuff. It, it, it all it all helps. And uh, as always, if if you have the ability to, um, you know, please consider making a donation. Please consider becoming a sustaining member. Uh, sustaining members get free uh, tickets to the virtual live stand-up comedy shows. So there's that. There's a little perk for you. You get two to four free shows uh, with these Zoom shows <laughs> every month. Uh, so, um, yeah, consider becoming a sustaining member. RamenNoodlesComedy.com slash donate is the place to go. R-A-M-A-N NoodlesComedy.com slash donate that's the place to go there and uh, to help support this stuff. Till the next time, see you on the road.